And here's the next theorem we will prove. If a quadrilateral has equal opposite angles, then it is a parallelogram. And here's the diagram, same picture as before, A, B, C, D, and what we're told this time is that angle A is equal to angle C, and we're told that angle B is equal to angle D. And what I'm going to do, instead of simply marking these, and marking them is fine, but I'm going to give them variable names that will be useful in the proof. So angle A, I'm going to call that x degrees, and angle C then also has to be x degrees because A and C are equal. And then angles B and D are the same. I'm going to call them Y, Y degrees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that X and Y have to add up to 180. So look at this. That angle and that angle have to add up to 180. So those have to be supplementary. And if those are supplementary, then you can think of this line and this line as, as lines with this as a transversal. And if we have supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal, then those two lines are parallel. So once we show that x plus y has to be 180, we can then show that those lines are parallel. And then we'll apply the same reasoning down here. We'll say that x and y have to be 180. So, so we'll think of this as a transversal for these two lines. And so those two must be parallel by the same reasoning. Okay, here are the steps of the proof. Well, 2x plus 2y has to be 360. See this? This plus this, that's 2x, plus that plus that, that's 2y. 2x plus 2y has to be 360 because all the angles of a quadrilateral always add up to 360. So for my reason here, I'll say the sum of the angles must be 360. 360 degrees because it's a quadrila quadrilateral. Okay, step two, see step one here and step two? All I have to do to get from step one to step two is take this equation and divide both sides by two. So I can, I know that must be true, x plus y is 180 because of division. If you want to say the division property of equality, you can. That just means we divide both sides by the same thing. But just saying division is adequate. Uh, if, it, if step one is true, then step two must be true because we divide both sides by the same thing. Okay, now if x plus y is 180, well, angle A and angle B, look, that's angle A and that's angle B. X plus Y has to be 180. So angle A and angle B have to be supplementary. And the reason is, well, they add up to 180. Or you could say the definition of supplementary angles or supplementary angles always add up to 180. But um, A and B are supplementary because they add up to 180. And the same thing will be true about angles A and D. They are also supplementary because they add up to 180. Okay, and then the next step, well, uh, uh, side AD has to be parallel to BC. So this has to be parallel to this, and that's because if this is a transversal, we have supplementary angles on the same side, and that means that the lines are parallel. So let's write that for our reason. AD is equal to BC because supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal mean that the lines are parallel. And the same thing for step 6. AB is equal to DC for the same reason. Supplementary angles on the same side of the transversal. And then that's it. We've shown that one pair of opposite sides are equal and another pair of opposite sides are equal, or, or excuse me, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and another pair of opposite sides are parallel. So it must be a parallelogram simply by the definition of a parallelogram. A parallelogram is defined as a quadrilateral with parallel opposite sides. So A, B, C, D must be a parallelogram. So starting with the fact that the opposite angles are equal, we have proven 
that it must be a parallelogram.